the empirical data for these things are incredible and they're gaining all the time. In fact, uh, I've got a couple of books right here. Well, here's, I just happen to have this one sitting here. Didn't know you were going to ask this, but this is one of the latest books. Let me grab it. Um, this is called the science of near death experiences. And it's by a medical doctor. Well, you can say, well, anybody can claim it's science, but it's not science. Oh, really? Okay. Well, this guy's got an MD. All the essays in here are published by the University of Missouri Press. I didn't say university. I didn't say Baptist. Wow. Baptist, you know, you know, Baptist Missouri. I said University of Missouri Press. And every article in here has been previously published in a peer-reviewed medical journal. Hmm. Okay, just for starters. And they start by saying, if your critique is that's another world. That's that's you're asking me to believe in Middle Earth. You're asking me to believe in Narnia. You're asking me to believe in Oz. There is no such world. They start out by saying from the best statistics we can come up with, the medical community, nine to 20 million people in North America alone have experienced near death phenomena. So let's just say half of those have had NDEs. That means a half a million, uh, 10 million people perhaps say that they've been to Narnia or Middle Earth or Oz, and they'll tell you about the experiences. You go, okay, okay, so, you, okay, they say they've been there. Yeah, well, I used to say that in the 60s when I was in LSD, you know, they might make some comment like that. They say, yeah, but there are over 300 evidential NDEs where people report data beyond the measurable death of their body. Notice I say, when the machines say they're dead, and that means flat, flat heart, flat brain, according to the data, according to the machines, they report things beyond that point, come back immediately and report it, but they're dead. 